and here at CES 2020 and hi. Hey there. So who are you? So my name is Derek Manwaring. I work with Colgate Palmolive and I lead our Colgate Direct to Consumer and our Colgate Connect group. So you launching here a new toothbrush. Um, this is a very special smart toothbrush, right? Yes it is. This is our award-winning Colgate Plaqueless Pro toothbrush. We've actually been recognized as uh, best of innovation in the health and wellness category. And what's amazing about this toothbrush is that it actually can detect biofilm as you're brushing and more importantly give you meaningful feedback to let you know whether you've done a good job removing that biofilm. So biofilm means like food? No, biofilm is a scientific name for the bacteria that starts to form on your teeth and can end up being the root cause of most of the dental conditions we have, like gingivitis, periodontitis, etc. So, um, there's a little sensor here, is it IR, or what's happening there? No, so you have optical sensors that are here in the head. And what's amazing about these is that they actually emit blue light, uh, light in the blue light spectrum, that when it uh, comes in contact with biofilm, uh, there's a, a substance known as porphyrin, that porphyrin uh, fluoresces back red light. Those optical sensors are able to see that red light. Uh, and that's an indication that that biofilm is there. It'll give the user a signal here, blue light. It's detected that uh, buildup. White light, you're safe to move on to another part of your mouth. Is going to be the new trend uh, to actually stare at your smartphone while you brush your teeth? Because it's going to be even more information right there, right? It's going to tell you Clearly, maybe you put the, the phone in front of you while you brush your teeth and there'll be like instructions where to brush more. Yeah, so let me tell you first and foremost, one of the great things about this brush is you don't need your smartphone with you for it to give you all of its benefits. Again, that feedback that you get from this blue light ring uh, enables you to know whether you've removed the brushes, brushed away all of that plaque or not, which is a terrific thing. So you can actually see the blue light? That's right. You're brushing any... either in the mirror or in your peripheral vision. Ah, yeah. You'll see it in the mirror. That's right. There is an app that goes along with it, which can provide supplemental information. But as I said, the great thing about this one is you don't actually need to have the app with you to get the uh, most benefit out of this brush. What is the supplemental information in the app? Well, thanks for asking. So you can actually, on the Colgate Connect uh, app, which is free to download, either on Google Play or uh, from iTunes. You get brushing frequency, duration, and location. And then with this particular brush, we have what's called a clean score, which can actually give you an assessment of how you're doing. We've also built in a number of things in the app, including ways to incentivize and encourage, even make competitive against your friends, uh, so that people are more engaged with the overall experience. How do you connect with the friends? Like, who's brushing better? Uh, well, you can potentially reach out to them uh, through the app. And then uh, you could even have like a, a detection of um, checking if your, your partner has brushed their teeth before you kiss them. Only if, something they, like that? only if they give you access to their account, but yeah, you <laughs> could do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so does it also maybe help in brushing not too much? Because some people just brush way too much and it's actually damaging the, yeah. the, the, the I'm mouth. I'm glad you asked. Actually, uh, it actually has a feature in it. Uh, that blue light that I was mentioning it will turn white after 10 seconds and that's precisely to stop people from over brushing. Uh, one thing is it will stay blue if you have for example tartar or sometimes known as calculus. Uh, that can't be removed by any commercially available toothbrush. There you need to go see the dentist. All right. Uh, and is it sonic vibrations? Sonic vibrations 30,000. We've actually designed the brush itself to be lightweight, uh, slim, sleek design and relatively quiet so you have a pleasant brushing experience as well. Is there any way to uh, teach it to not go too strong in a place where it might hurt more? Sure. Some people have some areas they want to go lower in frequency. Yeah. So you can, uh, we're building in features like speed control so you can go to a lower speed if you want. As of right now, what you're talking about isn't on the brush necessarily, but those are things that we can actually sync through the app and build into the app experience. So, uh, is it pretty much the best toothbrush in the world right now? Is that what you're going to say? I certainly have a biased opinion, but there's nothing else like it. I would say so. Nothing similar. Nobody nothing has similar. this optical sensor. Yeah, a lot of companies make great toothbrushes that help people remove plaque. Uh, this one is unique. Nothing else in the world like it. Do you show also the historically what you've done before? 
here at the booth or are you only talking about this? So I'm uh, happy to take you a tour yeah. on the tour of the booth. Come around. So let me show you here, come this way. Yeah. So I don't want to miss the awards we've won. Yeah. We've been recognized by a number of organizations at CES, Best of Innovation, Health and Wellness, Reviewed Editor's Choice, Best of Gadget Watch, Good Housekeeping, Tech Advisor, Best in Show, a lot of recognition. <clears throat> We're actually featuring this amazing toothbrush. If, you've, uh, if you have children, you know how hard it is to get your kids to brush. This is a terrific br uh, product, very clever. Takes an average Colgate manual toothbrush, three to four dollar brush puts this thing on the bottom, what we call a dongle or the shoe. If you notice, it has colorful dots on the bottom. What's amazing about that one is any smartphone camera can pick up those dots and the child will know where in their mouth they're brushing. And this creates a gamified brushing experience that teaches them how to brush properly, rewards them with masks like uh, Snapchat or whatever. And then also there's a great feature in it that parents can check up on their kids whether they've been brushing. Nice, and they can get like an extra Lego or something if they brush their teeth correctly the whole week. Yeah, that's right, but their parents will have to give them that. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, good. the good. Yeah. And then in, it's important to note uh, that in 2018 we launched in Apple our first connected uh, toothbrush called the Colgate E1. That one? Uh, it's not in this cabinet, but these are uh, successors to that. Uh, we came out with connected toothbrushing, as I said, in 2018. What's great about our uh, system is that it actually has 16 zone uh, detection um, uh, capabilities built into it. And what's great about it is it can store up to 10 days worth of brushing. So again, to the question you asked before, you don't need to be staring at your phone while you're brushing. That said, one great thing about our products, we know, is that when you have a connected experience, you actually can remove up to 50% more plaque than using the same brush without the connected experience. So giving people that feedback and information, we know can actually go a long way in terms of improving their brushing. Nice. <clears throat> and if you will. Your name. We're also featuring one other innovation. Is this like the, how it was originally? Yeah, these are some of the uh, interesting things that Colgate has done through its history. Colgate was the first company to put toothpaste in an aluminum tube. First one to put toothpaste when in When was a, that? Oh, that's got to be close ago? to, yeah, 100 years ago or so. In the U.S.? What's that? U.S. Yeah. And then what I'm especially proud of is uh, Colgate is the parent company of the Tom's of Maine brand. What you're looking at here is the world's first recyclable toothpaste tube. It's actually made out of materials similar to what you already have in your house. They can go into your municipality uh, recycling stream. Uh, but what makes me especially proud here is that Colgate is treating this as open source. So while we develop this, it's proprietary. Uh, we're letting any company that wants to use this technology use it so we can get more people to recycle their toothpaste tubes. Right. So you don't do proprietary design for that? Yep. And it is proprietary, but we're sharing it license-free to anyone who wants to use it. Nice. And then this is another collection of the stuff we have. Let me uh, show why you don't demo. you do the, the recyclable on every toothpaste? Uh, so, I mean, thing. we're starting with the Tom's of Maine brand, and we want to bring it to, of course, All the of Colgate it. brand, which reaches uh, billions of people a year. Are you the leader? That's the in, intention. In toothpaste. So by far. By far you're the leader. Yeah. Is, is there um, two to three times higher market share than anyone else? Uh, the fluor fluoride, fluoride is a requirement to have good hygiene. So and again, step you, chain. Yeah, sorry. sorry. No, for to have strong, healthy teeth, fluoride is a critical uh, component of good brushing. And you, uh, everybody just uses that all the time, every day. Yeah, uh, that's the best way to make it effective. Yeah. Let me show you this yeah. technology demo. So you might want to uh, change it around, but here's a visual demonstration of how the brush is working. I explained it to you a little bit, but here you can see the LED sensors underneath the brush head flashing. They're flashing as you're brushing. And effectively what the optical sensors are seeing is what you see on that model, the tooth model there on the left. You see the red, that's typically where plaque builds up along the gum line or between the teeth. That's what the optical <coughs> sensors are seeing. And then giving the user feedback. White light means you've cleaned that plaque away. <coughs> Blue light means that you still need to do more brushing in that area.
Nice. And this is accurate. What's that? This is accurate. Yes. Yeah, of course. All right. So uh, how much is the price for this toothbrush? Yeah, so we haven't finalized our pricing, but you know, if you look at comparable products in the market or at least other advanced products in the market, I would say nothing is comparable. They're in the $200 to $300 range. Our intention is to be somewhere around there as well. And it should be available later this year. And is there some kind of warranty for like 10 years or something? We haven't, not 10 years necessarily, but we'll definitely stand behind our products and make sure people are satisfied with them. One thing that I noticed with my Philips is the batteries run out after a couple years. Mm -hmm. And uh, people have to swap the batteries themselves, I guess. Yeah. Well, in a Philips, you probably can't swap the battery because they're, I believe, lithium ion. But like any rechargeable battery, it tends to erode over time. But the charge here should last you two weeks so that you can go two weeks between charging. At least that's what we're targeting from the get-go. All right. So thanks a lot. So Thank the you. CES has been an important launch. Very important for us. It's our first one ever. Actually, I have to say we've had quite a successful one. We're quite proud of the effort that the entire group has put together to get us here. So, thank And you. there's a lot of science behind. There's yeah. a development. There's also collaborations with experts in the industry many, to, to many develop experts. this, right? Many experts, technology partners, uh, Colgate researchers. It's been a collaborative effort uh, across a great number of groups. 